Well, this morning we are continuing the presentation of David W. Jones as our candidate for senior pastor of the Village Church of Barrington. Good morning. I am uh, thankful to the Lord for the way things went uh, last week. It was good uh, to be with you. I sensed uh, the Holy Spirit moving in me as I preached, and I trust that you felt his presence as well. It was good to get to know many of you at the open house afterward, and then during the week, we popped up at a, a number of different events at the church, and it was good to get to know many of you there as well. Now today, we begin a series on Paul's letter to the Philippians. Philippians is one of my favorite books of the Bible. It's such a positive letter. You know, Paul had so many problems with some of his churches in Philippi. Hey David, happy 10th anniversary. I can't believe it's been 10 years. Seems like just yesterday you and I were sitting down at a restaurant in Palatine talking about your future at the Village Church of Barrington. How time flies. I want you to know how thankful to God I am for you, for your heart for the gospel, the fact that you're a student of God's word and how that bears itself out in your wonderful preaching. I miss that, although Todd does a good job. I, want, I thank God for your heart for church planting and all the hard work that you've done to plant churches in our area and around America. I want you to know that we're kindred souls and always will be friends. I pray that God would richly bless you and your family in the years to come as you serve our Master Jesus. I hope you have a great day celebrating with the Village Church of Barrington. Take care and know we love you. Bye. David, happy 10th. I'm so very thankful that the Lord brought you and your family to CCA those many years ago. And I can remember, well, about 11 years ago, speaking with Helen about a pastor's opening here at the Village Church and how I thought you would be perfect for the job. And I'm so glad that by God's providence that that all worked out. And so for the past 10 years, I know that I can speak for us all that we've so appreciated your preaching. You are a man of God. It was an honor to serve underneath you as a staff member and as a parishioner. I take so much each week out of your thoughtful, godly, scholarly preaching each week. So thank you for all of the time and dedication that you've poured into this church, the true love that you have for your flock. And um, we just we couldn't be more thankful for you. So happy 10th. I have known Pastor David for 10 years. Fun fact, when my uh, baby brother was born, he was his first new pastor um, hospital visit, so that's really exciting. Some of my earliest memories with Pastor David include when I was six or seven, I used to do little sermon doodles and sort of draw out what he would be talking about in the sermons. And so one day he was talking about being salt and light, and so I drew a salt shaker and a light bulb, um, and I brought it to him after the service, and I was like, here, I drew this for you. And he, was, he took it, and uh, he was so happy about it. And at that age, that meant so much to me that he was uh, just willing to look at that and um, be excited about that. One of my favorite things about Pastor David is he uses big words in his sermons, and I love that. Um, I know most of them most of the time, but sometimes I have to look them up, and they're great because I can then use them in school. One of the highlights of Pastor David's sermons, by far, is uh, he was talking about Ruth uh, going in to meet Boaz, and as he is standing up at the pulpit, he describes Ruth and he goes, Oh, Ruth, she went in there like a ninja. <laughs> so now I always think of Ruth as a ninja. So I think that's super fun. Um, thank you so much for 10 years of service, Pastor David. I speak uh, on behalf of myself and the rest of our youth that you've made a huge impact on our lives. And we're so grateful to you. Uh, thank you for 10 years and here's to many more.
We have been so blessed to have Pastor David as our senior pastor for the last 10 years. Thank you, Pastor, for preaching the gospel clearly and boldly. Thank you for having a faithful servant's heart. We so appreciate your wisdom and discernment, compassion, gentle spirit, wise counsel, integrity, burden for the lost, being a good listener, empathy for those hurting, generosity with your time, and your humility. Thank you for your example of being a godly father. Thank you also for your example of being a faithful, loving husband to Helen. But most of all, thank you for your love for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is one thing to preach a good sermon, and you do that all the time. It's another thing to live it the way you preach it. We as a church body see you living your faith. Thank you for your consistency. And thank you for being my pastor.